All right, hi guys. I want to show you something that I figured out the other day after some painstaking uh, mistakes to try to figure out how to do this. What I wanted to do is do letter boxes without having to have a plug-in or put a template over it or do anything kind of goofy with it. So I came up with this the other day and I just wanted to show you this. Here's what we're going to do first. We're going to go up and I'm going to show you how to change your aspect ratio of this. You can see these both are the same. All they are is just an animation I did in After Effects. So they're all going to be the same thing. So what I want you to do is go up to File, New, Sequence. And if you're using DSLRs, you can do this either DSLR. I've just been using uh, RA just because I have been playing with that lately. But the DSLR still has a thing for uh, 1080p, 24 frames a second. And you kind of want to match that to your footage. So, I'm going to use Ari just because that's what I've been using. What I want you to do is come up here and do 832. That's going to change our height. And then just come down here and go ahead and do 832 down here. And hit OK. Next thing you're going to do is I'm going to load this footage, but I already have it set up in uh, my color graded one down here as a sequence. So I'm just going to go down here and load that into my uh, timeline. And as you can see, it has already been changed to a different aspect ratio. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go up, create a new sequence. We're going to go new sequence, and we're going to do the full 1080. We're going to grab here. We're going to go to settings. We're going to make sure it's 1920 by 1080, and we're going to just call this one letterbox. Now, all I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you the differences between what I have on my, all, all my numbers my different uh, heights, my vertical heights, and we're going to compare them real quick. So I'm just going to put this one in quick, put this one in quick, this one in quick, put my fourth, fifth one in. And all we're going to do now is we'll render that out real quick. We'll just hit return. Once I'm on my timeline, we'll hit return. and let that render out. The important thing to remember is uh, Adobe Premiere goes ahead and renders out everything in eight by eight pixel blocks. If you don't go ahead and make sure that you your increments of plus or minus on your horizontal or, or on your vertical, uh, how you wanna adjust it is in plus or minus eight, you'll end up leaving a black line at the bottom of your frame. It drove me nuts. I had to go to the forums, try to figure out why it was doing that. So once it's done rendering, you should be able to see how I'm getting my letterbox. Now we can see here's the widest one. We'll go to the next one and it'll get increasingly narrower. Now all we've done is laid a smaller video on top of a basically a black mat. Everything else can't be seen. So this is a quick way to go ahead and, uh, and do your letterbox. The other good thing I like about this is if I wanted to go ahead and say put some regular footage in there, something like I got off my camera, I can go ahead and slap this in right at the very end. And we'll just chop this down. I really some footage of my dog. But um, if we go back watch this last animation and you, it's to say you're doing a short film and a show comes on, you know, this is your main show, you can go right back to your, your main shot, no problem. So now the only thing left to do is go ahead and export it. So we just go file, export our media, export media, make sure your timeline's set, and then just go up here and pick your format. I'm just going to do H.264. I'm just going to make sure that my output is going to be the 1080 by 1920. Progressive, 2397 looks good to me. And you're ready to go. So go ahead and play with the numbers on your vertical height and then just drop it into the timeline. It may ask you, do you want to change your settings 
say no, keep the current settings on 1080. Uh, or always keep the current settings, no matter what. So, I hope you enjoy.